Hey, how's it going everyone? My name's Dave and I wanna to talk to you in this lesson about drum fills for rock. Now before we get into rock fills, what is a drum fill anyway? I know a lot of drummers think it's a miniature solo or it's a time where the drummer can play a lot of patterns or a lot of chops. Now where you're not technically wrong there, a drum fill is basically a transition piece. It's meant to either transition a verse to a chorus or a chorus to a bridge, or you could use a fill to build or release tension. It's basically a deviation from the beat you're already playing to introduce something new to the listener and to move on to something else behind the drums. All you're trying to do is break up the consistency of what you're doing to introduce a new groove or a new feel or build some tension or release some tension. Now you can play drum fills for as long or as short as you want, however there are three common durations for fills that you'll hear in rock pretty regularly. There's the full bar fill, the half bar fill, and the quarter bar fill. Now the goal isn't to learn the exact fill, if you want to that's great, the goal here is to really internalize the duration of these fills so you know when to start and when to stop. A successful fill starts at the right time and ends at the right time, which in most cases is on the one of the next bar and most rock fills crash at the end of the fill. Now these aren't 100% rules of thumb you have to live by, but they're pretty common and if you play and learn this style, you're not gonna get kicked out of any band. Now let's start with a full bar fill. Now in order to make these as useful as possible when you're practicing, try to practice them in phrases, either two bar phrases or four bar phrases. If you don't know what that means, I'm basically gonna play one bar of beat to set it up, and then the next bar I'm gonna play my fill, whether that's a full bar, half bar, or quarter bar. Let's start with the full bar here. Before I even get into any fill, I'm just gonna play a bar of space so you can hear how effective just playing nothing sounds as a fill. Don't shy away from space. Space can be sometimes very effective and by playing nothing for a full bar, it builds a lot of tension and when you crash back in, that tension is released, which is very effective. Let's try a fill where we build the tension from low volume to high volume. This is a very common fill and it's known as the eighth note build, okay? We're gonna basically play eighth notes on the floor tom and the snare at a low dynamic range and we're gonna raise that volume up towards the end. This is called a crescendo, and we're gonna play the bass drum on the quarter notes. Very slowly, it sounds like this. Okay, let me play that for you in a beat fill context. So give that fill a try. Another one I wanna show you is another very, very common one that a lot of beginners learn right away and it's just 16 notes all around the kit. All right, four on the snare, four on the high tom, four on the mid tom, and four on the low tom. It's kinda of boring, but at the same time it's very effective and for beginners it's a good one to start with. Here's how it sounds. One more I wanna teach you is the Bonham Triplet. This is another very classic fill uh, made popular by John Bonham. You'll hear it in a lot of Led Zeppelin songs, but it's great because it's a triplet based fill. It's for a full bar, and you can use it in straight rock or swung rock or even blues and styles like that. The pattern is simply high tom, low tom, bass drum. One trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let. Now the hard part about this fill is when you end the fill, you usually wanna crash on the one of the next beat, so you're gonna to have to play two bass drums in a row. 
something like that. Now let me play it for you in context with a swung feel. Alright, let's move on to the half bar fill. The half bar fill I find is a little bit more useful and versatile because you don't need to use a whole bar just to play a fill. And the smaller fills, the more subtle fills sometimes are the most impactful. Alright, so a half bar fill is going to start on the three count of the bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is essential. Practice how it feels to start a fill on the middle of the bar or in the middle of the bar on the three count of the beat. Once you get that done, there's so many possibilities. I'm just gonna start with a very simple one which is gonna be all 16 notes on the snare. Three E and a, four E and a. Can't get any more simple than that. So one, two, three E and a, four E and a. We're gonna crash out and we're gonna play it in a two bar phrase. Here we go. All right, I wanna give you one more fill idea for a half bar fill. We're basically gonna play a flam on the snare, a bass drum, a flam on the toms, choose whichever tom you want, and then another bass drum. We're gonna do an eighth note. So one, two, three, and four, and. Very effective, check it out. So experiment around with half bar fill concepts. The last one I want to talk about is quarter bar fills. Now these are very quick. They're only going to start on the four and they're going to end on the one of the next bar. So you don't have a lot of time. They're very subtle, but what I like about quarter bar fills is you don't have to always play a quarter bar fill before a chorus or before a bridge. You can play them in the middle of a verse just to change things up a bit or to add a little spice to the beat. What we're going to do is a simple 16th note roll on the snare. One, two, three, four eanda. Four eandas all on the snare. I'm going to play it in a two bar phrase for you. Here we go. Now you can move that roll on the snare around the toms, you can play eighth notes like we did for the half bar fill, just cut that in half. Let me show you a couple of different ideas. So there you have a couple of drum fill ideas for the style of rock. Now again, you don't have to go and look for a ton of different fills. You don't have to find books that show you know thousands of fill ideas. All you need to do is take the concept of full bar, half bar, and quarter bar fills and experiment with different patterns. The key to a good drum fill is starting on time and ending on time confidently. What makes a drum fill sound bad is when you're kind of wavering in time or you're ending a little bit late or a little bit early. And remember, space is your friend. Sometimes the best notes are the ones that aren't played. So don't be as shy of playing nothing or keeping it very simple. Find a fill that fits the song and have fun with these concepts. We'll see you in the next lesson.